My name is Mercedes and I'm a PhD student here at the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Plant Physiology. The aim of my PhD is to modify photosynthesis to understand it better. I have created this gene that I hope that you can improve photosynthesis and I want to introduce it into a tobacco plant. Specifically, I want to introduce it in a special part of the plant cell, the chloroplast. That's where photosynthesis takes place, and that's what I want to study. In order to do so, I need a gene gun. Here I have my gene mixed with gold particles. The gold particles are important to efficiently shoot the gene inside of the leaf piece. I have already loaded my gene inside of the machine, and now I'm going to introduce the leaf piece. The gold particles are shot inside of the leaf with very high pressure, just like an air rifle. So now I'm going to build the pressure. And that's it. I really hope it worked. I'm cutting this leaf into pieces and separating them so that from each piece, whole new plants can grow. I still don't know where my gene is, because the cell transformation works only in a very few cells. That's why I use a trick. I linked my gene to an antibiotic resistance gene, and in this plate there are antibiotics. That means that all the cells that have not incorporated the resistant genes will die, and only the cells that have incorporated the resistant gene will grow. These plants will also have my gene. I let this grow for three weeks. Here I have a three week old plate. And you can see from all the seven pieces, only one of them has a growing plant. This plant has the antibiotic resistance gene. That means that the transformation has worked here and this plant contains my gene as well. The cool thing about plants is that from this single small plant, you can generate many more plants. And that's what I've done in this box. Here you can see a two week old plant. Four weeks old, six weeks old, and eight weeks old. This plant is now big enough that I can take it into the greenhouse. And in order to do so, I have to put it to soil first. Here is my plant and I bring it to the greenhouse. Here we can see other plants that also contain my gene, uh, but they're a little bit older. If we compare them with plants that do not contain my gene, we can see that they are a bit smaller and they also lighter. To further study them, I'm going to cut one leaf piece. I introduce them into liquid nitrogen to freeze them. That stops metabolism. And now I'm going to the wretch mill. So here I have my frozen plant material and now I'm going to grind it because I want to obtain an homogeneous powder that I can analyze. I'm going to grind it by putting it into this container which is already frozen and on top of it it's going to come this metallic ball and uh, which is going to destroy the leaf pieces. And um, well, I have to be very quick because I don't want it to melt. And here I have the powder, what I can later on analyze. So, with this plant powder starts my work in the lab. First, I want to analyze the DNA to see if my gene is exactly inside. Secondly, I want to find out if my gene is really active. So I will analyze the RNA and the proteins. My hypothesis was that my gene can improve photosynthesis. And that's why I have to analyze the photosynthetic uh, activity of the plant. 
and I really hope it's worked.